Hi everyone, Combat Reviewer here, this time reviewing on the second season of South Park. Now, after reviewing the first South Park season, I decided to pick up season 2 from CEX, and after quite some time, eventually decided to kind of watch all the episodes, and I would say season 2 slightly improves itself, but there's moments where, yeah, there's still the one-sided morals, all kind of things thrown in without any real reason. And keep in mind, Season 2 had 18 episodes, as the opposite of Season 1 having 13. And Season 2 aired on April the 1st, 1998, all the way to January the 20th, 1999. So, of course, the, of course, the first episode that you did had, Terence and Philip, was maybe an April Fool's joke thing, which kind of had a Terence and Philip style episode. And when you had the next episode about how Mephisto was going to reveal the identity of Cartman's father, we would later reveal that it's actually Cartman's mum due to having two genders. I know some point later on down the line, it was kind of confirmed that Scott Terriman's father's actually his dad, and Scott Terriman was actually his half-brother. And I like how they do kind of reference it from the from, from their next season a couple years late a few years later. And I would say for the most part, I would say season two definitely improves itself quite a lot and is able to call out things when they when Trey and Matt knew they needed to. Like when you kind of have the film festival episode where where Los Angeles comes to South Park, there is a bit of a message and a cautionary tale that holding a film festival is good, but be careful not to destroy a small traditional town's culture and make it just as like what Los Angeles is. And I think when you kind of also got the episode Cow Days, there is a bit of a message to that story that games as well as carnivals or rigs, and sometimes it can be a waste of money. And I think when you've got the episode Gnomes, there is a bit of a message about giving things a chance and giving things a try despite what you say about a retail place. And I think for the most part, I would say, I think they, they do quite well with some of the characters' newer personalities. Like, there's early hints to Cartman's darker behaviour, where Cartman is acting like he's got this big part in a Cheesy Poofs commercial, despite being in it only for a few seconds. And you can kind of tell there's early signs to Cartman's darker behaviour. And I think what Season 2 still gets right is still having Kyle's mum, Sheila, as a bit of an antagonistic foil, but still trying to believe what she does is right. Because when you kind of got the episode where Sheila wants to kind of help the nurse not feel like an outcast, you can tell she doesn't realise how much harm her actions have done, and you can kind of tell the school nurse does get annoyed with her interference, despite despite not realising the harm her actions do. And I think when you got the episode Chicken Pox, where Carl's mum does kind of help fix, fix her husband and Kenny's dad's relationship, despite the fact that it's just going to backfire horribly. And I think you do notice how some of the residents of South Park do seem to get annoyed at Sheila's intentions, and I wouldn't call Sheila a total bad guy. I think just wants to believe that what she does is for the right reasons. And I think for the most part, I think some of the episode morals still feel a little one-sided, or kind of feels like stories are thrown in out of place. Like, yeah, when you kind of got the Clubhouse episode, when you kind of have Bebe seeming to have a crush on Kyle, it does kind of seem like she moved on the, the next few seconds, despite it feeling a little out of place. And I think, yeah, when you've also kind of got... I think also when you kind of also got 
the episode with Ike getting his bris. I'm kind of surprised that that Sheila and even Gerald omit some, don't remit some responsibility. But again, these just feel like one-sided morals. And I think for the most part, I think, yeah, I don't like how Trey and Matt do kind of joke with the whole kind of reference tropes. Like, yeah, when you kind of got the episode where, where, where Ken, where basically Stan, Kyle, Kenny, and Cartman mention about all their previous shenanigans while on the edge of a cliff is obviously meant to be a reference to the whole flashback episodes where a character says, you remember this, you remember that, hey, do you remember when we got into that trouble? But the twist is, the characters remember it completely differently. And I think, yeah, when you also kind of have, have as well, I think, when you have the episode, the planetarium one, I think I like how they kind of joke with the, the Star Trek episode, and the joke about the episode title being how Roger Ebert should lay off the fatty foods, is Trey and Matt calling out him for giving them negative reviews on their films, despite him being a professional critic. And I think, yeah, there's a lot more improved after season one, and I think, yeah, you still have Chef as the voice of reason, you still have some of the residents of South Park getting into shenanigans, and yeah, there's a bit of a story where Mr. Garrison decides to have Mr. Twig as a new friend, that only lasts for about one or two episodes. And I think, yeah, season two is a slight improvement. And you can tell Trey, Parker and Matt were trying to improve themselves after season one. So I think this season still deserves a thumbs up. It's an improvement that definitely deserves a lot more respect. And I think Trey and Matt were just trying to distance themselves from season one, improve the morals, and still tell the story the way it is. So, Comic Reviewer here, signing out.